Hi there students. In this video I'm going to deal with two words to boycott and to embargo or a boycott and an embargo. Okay a boycott is when a group of people organize together and refuse to buy a product or a service or to deal with a particular business or uh, a particular group of businesses because they don't like what they do. Um, so they, we should start a boycott on this uh, company because they treat their workers very badly. Okay, so a boycott is voluntary. You organize together and refuse to buy or deal with somebody's products. An embargo, on the other hand, is a legal restriction. It's when a government or a, a, um, a body prohibits goods from entering or leaving a country. So, um, I think there's probably still an embargo against North Korea. For many years there was an embargo against Cuba. So it was illegal to um, export products there or to import products from that country. You could have a news embargo. Okay, a news embargo is when uh, a government or a source requests that, uh, or somebody requests that no information should be given about this. So, I guess a news embargo, blocking a news website might be a, a news embargo. Or, um, yeah, there's a news embargo about information from the front. So the embargo is the government prohibiting the movement of merchant ships or trade with a certain foreign nation. Yeah, where a boycott is people or a group go together and say we're not going to buy it. So the embargo is legal prohibition whereas the boycott is voluntary yeah you you choose not to do it um we are going to embargo this com this company because they uh sorry we're going to boycott this company because they are polluting the environment in an unreasonable way um but a, go the, a government would place an embargo against a country. Normally, m embargoes are more, to do, more with large political groups, whereas boycotts are more to do with personal feelings uh, about things, although both are political. Okay, so let's try again, a boycott. To abstain uh, from using, buying or dealing with um, a certain gr group. Yeah, so you could boycott a business, you could boycott merchants, you could boycott an election, not vote in the election. Okay, the, the um, origin of the word boycott is quite interesting. Um, there was a guy called Charles Boycott in Ireland at the end of the 19th century, about 1880. Um, and uh, he, he, I think he was behaving very unreasonably. And then a group of landowners then refused to um, do any business with him, to put pressure on him to uh, um, act in a more reasonable way. And then that word has come, has come into, into our language and it's used in many other languages as a loan word. Okay, an embargo, this actually comes from Spanish embargar, to arrest with in Latin in and then uh, barra yeah um, okay in barra a bar or a barrier 
So, yeah, the embargo is a barrier. So, um, yes, an embargo is put down by governments. A boycott is something that is organised by a group. Um, as to formality, to boycott, I'd probably give it a 5.5 .5 in formality. I think you could use it almost anywhere. I think the word embargo, this is more political, more formal, maybe a 6, 6.5. Um, let's see, I, I think you could use it anywhere, although informally, I think I might say a government prohibition to do business with a certain country. Notice as well, both verbs are regular. They boycotted the shop. They have boycotted this industry. They embargoed Cuba. They have embargoed many other countries as well. well There's probably an embargo against Iran as well. I wonder who else there are embargoes against. So, to boycott and to embargo. They're similar, but they're not the same. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Boycott or embargo?